Hey guys and welcome to another Forza episode, it's been a while hasn't it? Other than last week live streams of Forza, as I currently don't have a video for Friday yet again. You, you kind of see what's happening here, I am. Um, this may be the video for tomorrow, for me, I'm recording this on Thursday. So we're here with the Forza Horizon Camaro, I'm going to start calling it the Crusher Camaro because I think they've took something from David Freiberger aka the guys over at Roadkill Hot Rod Magazine and made it. I'm pretty sure this is the Crusher Camaro. So we are going to be using this car today. Yes I'm going to exit out of photo mode. And we're going to do some Hot Rod racing and oh god oh god oh god oh dear. And I don't know why but I had no sound at that point. Okay now I do. Now to get back up there that's annoying. We have to go along there. I was going to do this awesome thing of... Actually, I can just rewind. Lol. Hopefully it'll work. Cheaty, cheaty, cheat him again. Back at it again with another rewind. Please let me rewind up back up there. Oh. Okay. That sucked. To get up there, we need to go around here. Up here. Uh, you can see the roadkill sticker on the back. I thought it was pretty apt to do get that on there. Slow down a bit. Okay, now we'll start accelerating. Miss that. Unfortunately, I would like to be able to pause, but I can't when I get back up there. So apparently you do need a bit of extra speed. You need to get it almost spot on. Wow, that was lucky. Gee, and why do I want to get up here? Because... That there. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hmm. Anyway, without. Okay, apparently we're going back up there without further ado. I'm not going to bore you guys and drive all the way there. We are going to do a championship event. We will fast travel with two grand. As we are three minutes into it and we've not done anything yet. So here we are. So this one I wanted to be a muscle car one. So we're going to go to that and classic muscle. And we're just going to keep everything the same, but just the type of cars that we wanted to use. Time for big engines, big intakes, and bigger attitude at the classic muscle championship. Oh yeah, and I'm going to use this one, uh, it's only an A class, and then eventually we'll work our way through most of these, including that. Pretty much a replica on what Dom drove in Fast and Furious. But I want to use this to begin with. The loading times I've noticed in the game are still mediocre. Not the best. Oh, I bet I know why it's so quiet. Yep. So I don't even know if you guys heard any of this. There we go. And hopefully that's not copyright music, because it could well be. So, again, I've got to go into the settings audio because I did have the radio. Uh, that groove music, get rid of it. <laughs> there we go. So it be interesting to see if this gets flagged for copyright. Hopefully not. Now look how many of these muscle cars 
how soft their suspension is. I don't get it. It's almost like some of them have the off-road suspension set to the softest settings. I don't get it. I truly don't. Now this is a street circuit. I thought about this last night when I was playing Forza. I've not done any for the most part on video, live stream, stuff like that, any street circuits. And I've really not been playing Forza too much because of... I want to try and do more videos on it and more live streams and I want to have content to do it. Um, but I felt that I was getting too far through. Oh my god, that's brutal. And I wasn't. I'm only at like 50 or percent the way through the game so clearly I've got a lot of stuff to do so we're 41% need to try and concentrate now and get the hammer down we are fifth place not ideal now this car's got a lot of straight line speed it's okay at cornering it's the Forza Horizon with all that good Forza Horizon stuff done to it. So it's pretty much a drag car. Now a lot of people think the Forza Horizon stuff means oh, it's going to be amazing. No, not necessarily. I recently got... I didn't win it unfortunately, but I, I purchased on the auction house the BRZ Horizon Edition and I must say... I don't know if it was the guy that tuned it before, but I can't really speak for it being a stock Horizon car. It was terrible. It just horrible. So I pretty much made it my own kind of thing. A lot more milder, like it's only around an A class. I don't want A class is my sort of the class that I say I have the most fun in, the most enjoyment racing cars in. As this is. And well I've had a lot of fun driving this car, same with the Whoa! Same with my skyline. I have a lot of fun racing and driving that thing compared to some of the other classes so was there any uh oh there was a Camaro, a Mustang HE means Horizon Edition and the Holden down the bottom today the time of me recording this is the day that the Falls of Fond stuff comes out for the S14. Can't wait to get my hands on that tonight. I was hoping to do a video on getting that car, uh, but no such luck. It's going to be like another hour or so before it's released. We'll see in a second, actually. So I leveled up. Nice. Definitely getting higher in the levels, as you guys can see. And of course, we've got a wheel spin. I've got quite a few wheel spins. Saving them for the live stream again, though. I think we're going to do that. Oh, two grand. Nah, that's going to double up to four grand. That was nothing. That was junk. It was better than the uh, Mercedes-Benz AMG, though. Ah, Mercedes. Meh. I did a load of wheel spins the other day and got quite a few cars. So the Forza Fallen, for anyone wondering, has got 25 minutes remaining. So, uh, wow. Coming up to 10 o'clock, quarter to 10, I reckon that's going to be released. Something like that. So, where is our next one? Just here, where are we? Our closest one is there. And that's going to finish us there. And that one is going to finish us here. Okay, we'll do that one. As you see, it just smokes for days. Oh, good grief, this interior is horrid. Ew! Wow, I never thought the stereo in the, the dash on this would look so bad. And sometimes I like wood trim, but. No! Ah, uh, traffic's heavy. Jeez.
We'll make a beeline. Go through the uh, vineyard. Pretty sure what, that's what they are. You have arrived at your destination. I have arrived at my destination. Ah, let's go for a different car. That will be my final race. Ah, let's use the Mustang. XP boost. So rise in uh, A class 2, so perfect. Extra XP is a good thing, let me tell you. Hmm. There's a little glitch that you can do to get good amounts of XP. Drift tapping. Now, this is a double XP car. If you make this drift and you do that little glitch thing, you should get double XP and from by doing that you usually get about 2,000, 200,000 XP. Double that, that's 4,000 or 400,000 using this. Now this car is one of the first Horizon cars I won. I was so lucky I went to win this one. And it is a beautiful track car. It kind of reminds me of a setup car for autocross. She does drift a bit though. I doubt you can, but I wonder if you can put the... Uh, Japan, Japan, Japanese inline sixes, the 2JZ stuff like that in there. It would get a lot of hate, but there's a part of me that in real life wants to do that to a Mustang. If you bought a rolling chassis or something that didn't have an engine, and you could get your hands on one of them to drift it. Kind of like they do in Tokyo Drift. Ever since seeing that, I've wanted to do it. I know it would raise so many eyebrows, and that's why. I want to do it. <laughs> Just because the purist will hate it. There's not many people that do it, so why not? I'm gaining on them. Take the right lines, I'll probably get them in the corner. I did there. So we're up into third place. 76%. Really need to put the hammer down. Bit of real late break in there. Wow, that boy is motoring. Now he's breaking where I feel. Bit of evasive manoeuvring will get us into first. That was a race. That was a good one. So you'll see the XP difference here compared to what we did get. So that's credits. Horizon car, because you, you get the stock finish then doubled by the Horizon car. And so on, so. Yay, make quite a bit of. Ooh, that would be a nice one to win. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was terrible. I think that's. That and the Jaguar are the only two. No, that, the Jaguar and the M3. The 97 M3 are the only ones that I don't have. I've right, got one there, and apparently we have this one here. Like the interior of the Mustang compared to the Camaro, there looks so much nicer, and of course, the stock interior in these cars. Although this Mustang sounds like it's got a late engine in it, so a modern-day Mustang engine in it, it ain't old school by any means. Turn 
Yeah, it definitely sounds modded. Modded? No. Modern. I think this would way nail that guy in the side there and T-bone him. This is probably one of my favourite Horizon cars, honestly. Not just because it's the Mustang and I am I do like my Fords. Just it is a nice car. Alrighty, let's bring out this powerhouse. This has 949 horsepower to the rear wheels. We may lose. <laughs> so Hey, what can I say? So I, I'm so happy, I do want to say this. I'm going to probably re release this uh, Friday, so this video will be released at 5 o'clock. It's a short video, so I hope hopefully you guys haven't skipped it, you have watched it. I will be streaming at 7pm tonight, Forza. I've had a lot of you, surprising amount of you, ask when am I next going to be doing Forza. You guys are probably the Forza guys. I cannot believe the amount of people that have actually come to my channel for Forza. Or you guys that were part of the fan sim guys watching Forza. It blows me away. So thank you to every one of you that have come to my channel for Forza. And also thank you to you, you fan sim guys that are really embracing a new game. It's always upset me a little bit people don't like change. It's human nature. I don't like change. You guys don't like change. But sometimes you gotta do a little bit of change. And this is my change. Like, it's not a simulator game. It's completely different from anything I've ever done before. And it amazes me you guys like watching it. So we may have to take a quick pause or do a huge jump cut in this edit that I'm probably gonna do when we load. Yay, loading time. Oh my goodness. That literally took two minutes to load. Wow. It would take that long to load. Wow, I can't believe it actually took that long. So, let's get her ready to rumble! What is that orange card? Look at the suspension! Whoa. So I think that's what it is. The game... makes it so... They're upgraded, but upgraded with, like, the off-road suspension, maybe? Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> so they're, they're all over the place. Like, comically all over the place. I couldn't remember if I did have the blur on this. Oh, that's what happened to the other camera. <laughs> uh, rewind. So this isn't a Horizon car. This is just your standard car you can buy. It is not meant for cornering. It is not meant for anything. It is a car I built. Well. I always build this car in every Forza, just for that one reason. Move car, get up my way! I need to go for the checkpoint. Cause that will uh, screw me. It's actually breaking really early there. Just to make it nice and smooth. And now we can uh, gain. AI traffic or AI cars tend to break really early. Like on those lines and 
the only reason I have them on is so you can figure out where on earth you're going. If you're not on a track like this where it is easily, blatantly laid out, mainly off-road tracks, stuff like that, and it's Forza Horizon, there's a lot of off-road tracks, you will get lost if you don't have it on pretty much. So like the AI will let off there, I even I will break around here. But they'll break heavily along there probably because the speed they'll get up. So it tends to slow them down and you can get ahead. But also if they're doing the corners spot on like AI tend to most of the time, unless they're in the pack, they may gain on you if you're not very good in the corners like this car isn't. I would say it's corners flat, it tends to try and stick. Like that corner I royally screwed up. I think this is the last race in the championship, so we did get done the championship. Of course I got a couple of minutes of blank space to edit. Final drift around that corner. Good old supercharger wine. And there we are. Across the line. Oh, we've got one more. Yeah, we do have one more, don't we? Nice. I forgot about that, actually. Well, we'll probably end up making two, level 200 tonight. Not in this video, I mean... Me playing Forza today. So I'll find a one. Just there. Well, I actually kind of plan my route nicely. So the interior of this looks amazing. <laughs> I like this one a lot. Okay, so what vehicle? Uh, what was that skill boost? I don't want that. The old dart. Uh, not using that thing because it is slow. Very slow. Got the holding down there. But I picked this car up. I used to have one of this in Forza 3. Actually, you know what? I've never raced this. Let's race this guy. That Chevy SS we had in Forza 3 did a massive paint job on it that I really liked on one. Uh, basically kind of redo that of the vehicle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to though, because it had Boyd Conanton's rims on. and They don't have them in Forza anymore. So it's uh, 10 to 10. So we'll do this race and we'll call her a night. And at that point, hopefully, we have Forza Fun enlisted. Unlisted, unlocked. So, but this is basically the same car we were in. They made this car for NASCAR. For any of you that don't know why it was made. Okay, uh, I'll rewind. That wasn't fair on that guy nor myself. And so, basically, what did they do? They added that front nose onto it, added a huge wing on it, and smoothed it out on the back. And some various other tweaks, no doubt, that I don't know about. But I believe in NASCAR, you have to, it has to be a production vehicle and you have to sell so many before you can kind of put it in to the race, I think. Similar to the British Touring Car, in respect of it has to be a vehicle that's sold to the public. But they're heavily modified, of course. And modern day NASCAR, wow. Well, how much of it, other than fiberglass body really is off of the road going vehicle. I, I don't think there's much, if any. But that's how it was back then. I'm not saying that's how it is now. I have no idea about anything about NASCAR. Some of you guys probably will be able to kind of fill me in on that one. I, I have watched a few NASCAR races before. Really not my style of racing. I do find it kind of boring. This has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of roll. 
I uh, want to lower this one, I think. And put some... Uh, definitely, definitely some coilovers, probably different rims after doing that. Resto mod it slightly. As you can see, they're just oversteered massively. Whoa, he just murdered through that. Okay, that's obviously the racing line over here. You would have thought this car would be good at corners, but maybe just left hand corners, I don't know. These right hand corners is probably a little tricky. Now you guys can probably hear my controller. <laughs> the uh, poor vibration motors in there are probably getting their fair share of a workout more than they ever have done playing farm sim. Because this game, they're always going off. And across the finish line. Yeah, cool. They're way back. Very nice. And that's the first race I've ever done in the Daytona, I think. We have completed it, 10k. And you can see how much money we've got, 5.5 million again. Oh, we've got a lot of money. I like saving, I don't like spending it on crap. And we're now at 190. Very nice. And of course we get a wheel spin. Can we get the M3 Horizon Edition? Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? 75 grand, that is good. Doubles up to 150. We like that a lot. But no Horizon Gun. Sad times. I did a few wheel spins last night. Uh, quite a few, like. Maybe, maybe, maybe close to 10. So it was quite a few. And uh, let's say we won a few cars. None of them Horizon Editions. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching us drive our boat to victory. And we'll catch you tonight for another Forza episode. Catch you guys later. See ya.